Hello there, Scorpio. Welcome back to my channel. It's so good to see you again. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. So today I am doing your March 2022 uh, career and money reading. So we'll take a look at the overall energies in your career and money sector, and then we'll move to the tarot for more details. And if you're enjoying the content that I create or resonating with the message, I'd really appreciate it if you would consider like, commenting, or subscribing. Okay, let's get into your reading. Scorpio let's see what you have for this month be bold and make the first move cardinal moon yeah I mean I feel as if that is <laughs> kind of like a sign I heard a horn beep too it's kind of like beep you know it's kind of um it's like yeah it's time to move <laughs> you know like when you're sitting at a stoplight and you get distracted or something and then somebody beeps their horn to say hey the light turned green well it's kind of like the universe is saying beep you know it, the light is green it's time to get moving in this way co-creating with spirit creating something really wonderful putting your idea into uh, fruition and putting it out into the world. Something that'll bring um, you a lot of stability, financial stability, but also joy. You know, a sense of knowing that you're creating something for the better good of all. So let's go into the tarot and get some more details. The Hierophant. Okay, so this is an energy of, you know, the Hierophant is about being a teacher being a leader, could be a spiritual leader. Um, it's also about institutions, um, learning. It's about governments, you know, big institutions, corporations even. But I get a sense here that, you know, look at this world. You're stepping into a new chapter, wanting to step into perhaps a new career path. Um, opening yourself up to being a teacher of some sort or seeking knowledge in some area. Um, so we will go ahead and we're going to clarify these. Okay, this one. Yeah, your obstacle is work. You're not working. <laughs> you may have an idea, but you're, you're, you're not working on it. It's time to be bold and make the first move. Really, um, you know, I wonder if... You know, it could be that you have a partner. You see how there's an owl and then a little girl. Um, you know, you could have a partner that you're thinking you want to work with or you are working with. But you see how the owl has a lot more wisdom than the other person, um, than the little girl. So you could be either the owl or the little girl. But there is like an imbalance of energy here, an imbalance of who's doing the work, of who has the knowledge of how to take this forward. And it's it may mean that you may be the one that has to, you know, six of swords, take whatever is going on in your career and money sector from a sense of turbulence <laughs> into more calm. You just may have to be the one that takes the lead. So um, say uh, it has to do with your finances and you feel like your finances, you know, money is kind of tight and you may be in a marriage or long-term relationship because the Hierophant can, you know, represent that too. But it's kind of like you may have to take the bold move to say we need to stop eating out as much or you know, we need to be saving more or something like that. Like, you know, making the move um, or looking for new jobs that pay more, something like that. Um, but it doesn't have to be in a relationship, you know. There's some area here, yeah, of dropping a burden. I feel like there's some burden that needs to be dropped. And it's kind of like, I feel like you're being called to be the one that drops it. Because <laughs> here's the page of cups. Yeah, this is your advice. You know, adding a little love to the situation. Of... You know, for some reason, I feel like this has something to do with a relationship, finances or your career in a relationship. But there is a move that you need to make. The Page of Cups, a lot of times to me, means loving yourself. 
expressing your own love, perhaps teaching others because it is a love of yours. It's about stepping into this energy of loving. And even if it's kind of like you feel like you and your partner have to cut back on expenses or something, it's because it's out of love. It's kind of like, well, we're not going to have enough <laughs> on down the line if we don't make some decisions here. Yeah, so what do we have here at King of Swords? Getting really clear about what direction you want to go in. Of cutting out the things that no longer serve you or serve your relationship um, as far as career and money are concerned. You know, making a plan and sticking to the plan. Yeah, Eight of Wands, taking action. I really feel like you're being called to take the action here. So let's go ahead and uh, clarify. So let's look at this Hierophant that you have in the present energy. Eight of Cups, Two of Wands, Seven of Cups, King of Swords on the bottom. So you could be dealing with an air sign. That's Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Doesn't have to be, but you know, the King of Swords, the thing is, is that the King of Swords can sometimes be a little bit stubborn, you know, kind of extremely logical. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, this sense of, okay, we're going to look at everything on paper, black and white, and make a decision from that. There could be a little bit of too much emotion in the situation, like you're, you're following your heart, but perhaps... You need to curtail that a little bit and get a little bit more logical about, you know, um, bringing this into fruition. You could be a little bit in the dreamy stage, which is great in the beginning, but it's like spirit is saying, okay, it's time to get real here. So, you know, with the Hierophant, we have the Six of Cups, the Two of Wands, and the Seven of Cups. I feel like you're trying to look at other options, walking away perhaps from one career or job or one situation um, towards something, but you're not really sure. Like, I feel like you're trying to make a decision. So you, you know, if you're looking for a new job, you could put it, be putting out a lot of resumes, you know, or you may, uh, if you're thinking about going back to school because of the Hierophant, you may be looking at a lot of different options for that. There is a sense of wanting to make a decision, but also wanting to take a look at all the options. And I feel as if it's kind of like spirit is saying, okay, go ahead and decide now. <laughs> it's time to um, make a bold move. It's almost like you're almost stuck in research, like trying to, to make sure that you're looking at all the options. You're getting everybody's advice and it's kind of like, just make a decision. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. So three of wands, once again, waiting, waiting for like your ships to come in, waiting for something to, uh, they're showing me, uh, I know this is a baby, but it's almost like show, they like you're wanting something to fall into your lap. You know, you're not working because you're hoping that this windfall or something is going to fall into your lap and it's not happening. So there's this sense of, you know, losing out, like you're afraid you're losing out, maybe losing out on an opportunity. Um, but here we have the Ace of Cups, you know, putting a little bit of love. There's this sense of love in this situation, whether it's romantic love, love for building a family because of the Queen of Pentacles. You know, there is a sense of, for some of you, that um, you could be spending a lot of time on your career and you may have a feeling that, you know, all the time that you're spending on your career, like you're almost overworking. If you're spending too much time on your career, then what's happening is you're taking it away from your home and your family, perhaps your children, you know. So you're feeling a sense of loss there and you're not putting... The sense here is with the Ace of Cups that you're, there's not a lot of love in your work. You're missing a love in your work. So let's see what the um, Page of Cups is about. This is your... 
advice. Really interesting energy. Six of Cups on the bottom. Um, you know, a sense of wanting to return to something. Wheel of Fortune. Ten of Wands. Um, wow. Okay, so here's the thing. You have the Page of Cups here. This is your advice. There's something about apologizing, forgiving, um, loving something here. Whether it's an actual person or if it's your work is probably going to be a little bit different for everybody's um, situation. But there's this sense of overcoming your need to be independent and free. Because we have the nine of pentacles, you know, of being independently wealthy, of being single and mingling. You know, um, there's this energy of wanting to do something on your own or being financially stable on your own of being free from a certain situation. For some of you, you may be thinking about leaving a relationship or a marriage and one and kind of having this sense of can I can I get uh, have my independent freedom? There's this um I, I feel like you're toying between <laughs> being single <laughs> And freedom, and that could be even in just your work, like wanting to start your own business or wanting to um, have more autonomy in your career. And then there's the Empress, where the Empress is kind of like all of the queens together, right? Allowing things to come into her life of building new things, you know? And I feel like you feel as if you have to defend yourself in this situation. You may be wanting to build your own business, but there could be, you know, your financial situation right now or your relationship, you know, your family situation, let's say, um, is you feel like a burden is there. There's something about dropping a burden and you have the Six of Cups here with the Wheel of Fortune. Looking back at the past, uh, something that you may have wanted to do even as a child. And, uh, and bringing it around, looking at that situation, why you didn't do something. And then going back and getting the lessons, learning the lessons from it, but also getting the wheel to turn in your favor and bring in blessings. But you have to, in order to do that, you have to drop some burden. There is some, something here that you think, at least you think, is holding you back. Yeah, Queen of Wands, death card, there you are. Wanting to transform. You know, wanting to drop this burden so you can step into this energy of the Queen of Wands. There's something that you really want, Scorpio, that has such a lovely energy to it. The Queen of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Empress. This is an energy of just being independent, building the life that you really want for yourself being super confident. The Queen of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles are both very single energies. Now, I'm not saying that you have to leave a family situation or a relationship, but in your work, that is what you are longing for. For some of you, you may also be thinking about leaving. There's something about perhaps a family situation that is a burden to you that you feel is holding you back from being who you really want if it want to be if you think about it <laughs> these three cards are like what your soul is calling you to do to create something beautiful to step into this energy of confidence of knowing that you can create whatever it is that you want and that you can have this very kind of at least financially independent life. Even if you're still in a relationship or something, just knowing you don't have to rely on that person for money. You know, a sense of you can do it. 
and loving yourself enough that you uh, take the bold move in order to move into this direction. You know, um, I do. I feel like you feel you have to be defensive to stand up for yourself. But here you are standing in your power saying, yes, you know, I'm not happy with what is going on in my career and money sector. I, I really and truly want to make some changes. I want to have the wheel turn in my favor. And I think for a lot of you, it is taking a look at something that you may have done in the past or even from childhood, something that you dreamt of doing and really bringing it into fruition. So let's see what we have here. Yeah, look at this. Knight of Wands taking that action. <laughs> Knight of Wands is very bold. <laughs> Takes that action, remember? Making the first move. Yeah, it's about you standing in your power of knowing the clarity of where you are going. And really being able to communicate that to others too. Because the King of Swords is a good communicator, right? Um, working putting your time and energy into bringing balance into your life. There's uh, there's obviously something that's not balanced. And then we end with the Hierophant. You know, once again, perhaps being a teacher or being a mentor to other people in your line of work. Perhaps going back to school, if, you know, you feel like that is part of what you need to do in order to gain this balance yes um okay let's pull a creativity oracle card i um i get the vision of you just it's kind of like you sit down to dinner one night and you announce <laughs> like the king of swords you announce this is what I am doing. Like you, you decide, I'm going to go within. I'm going to love myself enough to follow this dream. And it's like you sit down to the dinner table and you tell your family, whoever that may mean, right? You, you tell your family, this is what I'm going to do. And there could be this little bit of what? <laughs> where did that come from? And I feel like that's the part where you feel like you you have to get defensive. But I think the thing is, is you don't have to be defensive. Instead, step into your confidence and share your story with whoever your family is, right? Or these people that you need to talk to about making this change. It could even be your employer or something where you're like, I, I need to make a change here. There's something I want to do that's a little bit differently. Success. Enjoying your life and the unfolding of your creative abilities as much as possible is real success. There you go. Okay, so Scorpio, I feel like that is the heart of what is missing in your life, is that you feel like you're not able to use your creative abilities because you have the Empress and the Queen of Wands. Both of them are extremely creative. Use their creativity to build, build businesses. And um, I feel as if you're, you're not using your creative abilities to build something and then out of that, you'll feel real, real success. It's as if you're missing that success part, that feeling of success. I'm not going to say you're, you're not successful, but look at even the Queen of Pentacles. Here's your obstacle, right? The Queen of Pentacles has a lot of money, right? She can buy whatever she wants, but we also have this with it. It's kind of like, okay, I have all this money, but I'm not enjoying the work that I'm doing, you know, I have this work and it's okay. It's bringing me a lot of money, but not a lot of love or joy. Yeah. Okay. What am I most afraid of losing? As we grow, change and transform our lives, it requires us to let go of something that was to make room for what will be. If you were to take the big leap today, would you feel scared of losing love, safety or belonging? What if it was a big fat lie? What if it was impossible to lose any of those things because you have the power to give everything you need to yourself? And there's that page of cups, right? 
giving to yourself, knowing that this is like a gift to yourself. Name the fear and look at the worst case scenario. Find a solution. Take your power back by being certain of who you are <laughs> and where you are going. Yeah, being the king of swords, knowing who you are and where you're going. And it's like announcing it to the world, to yourself first, probably, right? And then to the world. I move forward knowing I am powerful beyond measure. I am loved, I am safe, and I belong. All right, I'm going to put it up there. Yeah, I think it's going back to what, what creative abilities, talents, gifts do you have that you're not able to use right now? Because I think that's the key is, you know, there's something, our creativity is part of our soul, of who we are, of why we are here. And it's, you know, tapping into that and then being able to use it in our work gives us purpose in life. If you're just working a job to make money, to make ends meet, sometimes we have to do that, right? Right. But it doesn't bring a lot of satisfaction. It's when we have our heart and our head um, aligned with our soul purpose that we get the clarity of why we're here and then making choices that stay in alignment with that. So what do we have here? You will only see the way by making the way. You know, this sense of you at needing to go inside, finding what it is that's missing in your life, what creative ability you would like to use in order to build a business or to make money, right? And then <laughs> getting, you have to make the way. You have to decide what that is, stand in that truth, and then make the way forward for yourself. Ambition. I'm ambitious and do not procrastinate or waste time being negative. <laughs> In other words, be bold and make the first move. That's a lovely, lovely um, thing. Yeah, it's, a, it, you know, you could be feeling as if there is a person situation, even a family situation that's holding you back from what it is that you really want to do. Well, then it's about taking a look at that and not allowing it to be the excuse. Finding solutions to fix that problem because you could be kind of like stuck on, okay, I'm just going to focus on the excuse instead of focusing on the problem for the, you know, I mean the solution for the problem that the excuse is. You know, perhaps you feel like, oh, I'd like to go start this business, but maybe you have young children. You're kind of like, well, I can't go start a business because I have these young kids that I need to take care of. But it's about finding a solution, you know, um, trying to find people that can help you with your child care needs that are going to be loving and, and caring of your children but also allow you to move forward in um, working your soul's purpose. All right. Well, Scorpio, I am going to leave it there. I do wish you much love and light in this situation. If you did resonate with it, I do do personal readings. If you would like to go deeper into your situation in any sector of your life, but especially your career and money, or if you resonate, please consider liking, commenting, or subscribing. And I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.